Listen, Bart, there's something though I've got to tell you. I never made one of these before, and the stuff that I put in there, well, it's a kind of a revolutionary principle. It might be dangerous. It might even be atomic. Atomic? Might blow up? Hey everybody, welcome back. And today I've got myself an STC Bantam Model C141 and built in 1947, tiny little uh, mantle broadcast unit only and again I've got the chassis but here's what they look like with a case and pretty nifty looking little radio too so back to our chassis and our tuner is working and we've got Volume, and again, that's it, but radio's all complete. Uh, a bit grimy, but that's not a problem. So what do we got? Let me lift up the camera just a bit more. So as you can see, we've got our one, two, three, four valves. Um, oh, we've got them all listed here, 6V6, uh, 6J8, 6A8, 6A8 would be the uh, mixer. Uh, 6J8, I have had fire, and of course the uh, what is it? 6X5, cool. Uh, choke, uh, output transformer, and speaker there. All right, now let's have a look underneath. And as you can see, and I can too, looks to be completely untouched. Cool. All right, I'm going to. Uh, oh God, I have to work out how to just. It doesn't look like it's going to go any further than that. That's all right. Um, but, 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 but. I'm going to find out where those speaker wires are, and uh, we'll, at least we can test the uh, speaker and the output transformer. So uh, give me a minute or so, and I'll do that. Trace those wires from the um, output transformer. So we've got a red and a blue. So they're all going to the um, rectifier, no doubt, just as bridging points. So uh, red wire... As you can see, right there. Now the blue, hmm, I'll just turn the unit on and just touch a pin, I think it's the uh, blue. And I'm right. So that's good. So that should also, there should be a direct connection between that blue wire and the plate, which is up up here on the 6v6 and let's just buzz it out make sure we do have a get on there have a connection where are we uh, one two three yep so good all right I'll um, hook up some power oh, yeah the choke the choke okay <laughs> Okay, I've got to find out where that's going. Um, I'll check the schematic. Okay, checked out the schematic, and I'll just bring that up on screen. As you can see, um, the choke is connected to the negative of the uh, 8 microfarad cap, which is that one there, and the other end goes to earth. So the negative of that to the chassis should give me 200 and something ohms. 262. Got it. All right. So that looks to be in order. All right. Next thing, I'll um, have to get that uh, power cord out. I know you can't see it. <laughs> They've done the old thing, you know, wrapped a knot into it. And uh, it's wedged tightly behind that cap there. So I'll probably just end up replacing that cap first. And um, at least I can get that damn power cable out of there. So I'll, uh, I'll do that. And then we'll uh, give it some... Uh, Give some juice, see what it does. All right, I've got the uh, temporary power hooked up. I had to replace the uh, the old power cord there. It was just, um, insulation was perishing, so it's safer to do it this way. So, um, 6x5 pin, the plates are on. Pins three and five. One, two, three. Uh, get it that way. And five. There we are. All right, a little bit of power, and see if we get something. Oh yeah, and no dead shorts, that's for sure. So the uh, 
6.3 is on pins 2 and 7. It's pin 2. And 7 is there. Alright. Give it a squirt. Turn the variac on first. Looks pretty good. Alright. I think I don't know. <laughs> let's let's see what happens. Come on. Um just, just go straight for it, okay. Black on the uh, on the eight and red up there on the positive. Clean that gunk off. Let's see what happens. Get some B plus into it. A little bit of power, come on, 100 volts, and here we go. Rectifier is working, good. I'm at about 150 volts at the moment. I can hear the radio buzzing. Nothing as yet. Well, hold on. Let's try an antenna. Getting uh, no stations yet. But not a problem. At least it's alive. So that's good. All right, I'll um, swap out those two caps there, and um, then we can give it another test, and hopefully we can get something okay. out of it. Here's our caps in. Let's give it power and see what sort of voltages we get. Uh, this time they should should improve from the old caps anyway. Okay, here we go. Slowly, slowly. And nothing's happening. No, because... <laughs> Let's go to DC. That's a bit better. Nice and quick. And 160. One seventy volts. Two hundred. And not a whisper. Huh. All right. Let's just turn that power off. For a second, and we'll just make sure that the other cap is getting power. But well, looks it. Yep, that's fine. Look, oh, pardon me. Sorry, move the camera. That's fine too. But no sound. Check out those valves. I'll just set myself up and we'll have a look. I'm preparing to look at the valves and then um, I noticed that this one here, the, uh, what is it, 6J8, uh, was loose. And um, then I had a look and uh, like it was, <laughs> the 
pins were barely on the, in, inside the socket. So um, I've just pushed it back in. So I'm hoping that's the problem. Anyway, we'll find out. Um, get up on its side. Prefer it that way. All right. Let us give it some power. Try and stop that from earthing out. So bring it up slowly, pardon my hand. One eighty volts, two hundred, anything? Oh, works. <laughs> Try and get the ABC wherever it is. I think that I think that I think is the truth inside me. Well, if it's staying well, what do you know? The stuff cool. works out. Cool. It's a goer. It's a goer. So that there we go. Great example of um well need to be one of at least all the valves right in their sockets. Um <clears throat> But apart from that, it was the um, the filter caps um, getting some signal through, but clearly not enough. Um, oh, sorry, getting enough, not enough power to, to <laughs> make the thing work. I'm bloody Lou, forgetting, don't know, I'm mumbling, don't know what I'm saying. Never mind, never mind. Um, all right, um, good God, let's do some um, recapping. And change those waxes out and um, again we should <laughs> all things being equal as I like to say um, as we change those caps out uh, the signal should be uh, better and clearer stronger and hopefully more resonant as well so I'll start I'll do a couple and um, we'll just press through slowly I've changed a couple of caps uh, an 047 there I just started from the bottom <laughs> gonna work my way up and uh, coupling cap 0.01 coming in from the uh, output of the volume pot. So let's see what sort of difference that makes. And oh, yep, again, I just like to watch the voltage go up. Tells me something's happening anyway. Here we go, bring it up to uh, 230. She's live with station. Into northern country as well. Now we did get a bit of fog this morning, including along the ranges in the east, especially through the valleys, and we are seeing into tomorrow morning. It's quite a cool start to well, the morning experience. That's a big difference. Tomorrow. Um, so we do have some mornings. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll, uh, let me see, how many we've left? Four. One, two, three, four. Of course, that one's got to be tucked right in behind absolutely just about everything. But anyway, we'll get to it. And uh, I'll, I'll do two more, then we'll come back. Radio, two more caps done. Point to two there, and 047. Give it some power. And see if we get the marked improvement, or it's, it's all the same, who knows. Still, it's running well. So far, haha. <laughs> Commissioner on Transport has fallen slightly, but Commonwealth Bank Chief Economist Stephen Hornmarek says how. And looks like it's heading south. How quickly okay. is the big question? Prices are still. A half percent. And including. But still higher than seven and a half percent. So inflation still hot, but just not as hot as it was in the last quarter. The Labor Party will okay. not run a candidate. All right. So that's done. That. Oh, sorry. That's done. That. What does that mean? So they're done. I've only got two caps to go, and um, yeah, get them done, and then we'll check some resistors. I'll do that. Check the resistors as well while I'm at it. Three, two, one, blast off. She's up. 
come in ideal countdown control. Ready for second launching? Atlas moving into position. Fuel her up. All set. Countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! There she goes! Yes, you can be in command of your own ideal countdown. It's a real electronic missile base. You sit at the controls and move missiles into place. You count down. You blast off. You track the flight. The ideal countdown comes complete with moon missile and lunar probe, as well as the giant atlas. Get your electronic ideal countdown now, wherever good toys are sold. It's a wonderful toy. It's ideal. Well, I hope you liked that commercial. I thought it was great. I mean, what a toy. Wow, rocket launch station. All electronic. Super duper. You guys in America, you had some good shit back in the 50s, I'm telling you. Anyway, um, the radio is all done. It took a while, but uh, I just, you know, tied in there and trying to change resistors without destroying everything else. But um, she's working well. Well, let's find a station. Please move safely and obey those overhead signs. It's for the safety of those on the roadway to clear that truck. In Keysbrook, Chandler Road, southbound, closed at Not Isaac's bad. Road. Not bad. And the Palmer's Road on-ramp to the Prince's City Bound, a left lane closed. Sorry, just Cruiser listen to the news. knocked over traffic <laughs> lights. Don't be stuck with a flat battery. All right, so it is done. Little uh, STC Bantam, all finished, and um, ready to go back in its case. So, nothing much, but, you know, hey, again, it is what it is, and... Uh, and it was an easy one, really, you know. And what was the problem? Real problem? <laughs> a valve not properly in its socket. So, uh, <laughs> easy fixed, easy fixed, when you see it. When you see it, of course. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. And um, I will be back very soon with, yes, another radio, because I've got about three more to do. Okay, I'll catch you all again. Bye.